Hello, this is Cubition, and this is the third tutorial in a quick series of tutorials on how to use this program, LMMS. Um, today we're going to be focusing on the triple oscillator, which is an instrument plugin found in LMMS. So an oscillator is essentially just a small piece of a program that in this case will actually generate a sound wave. Um, so the, in triple oscillator, there's obviously three oscillators. So, and so here's the controls for oscillator one. Here's the controls for oscillator two, and here's the controls for oscillator three. Now, I've messed with that a little bit, so we're going to want to get a clean version of triple oscillator. So this is how it looks straight out of the box: is you have it with not knobs messed with. So, um, so right here, if you just hit the keyboard you'll actually get some noise so um, volume and pan for obviously for the different oscillators um, you can have different volumes so there these are all on different octaves right now because they're coarsely detuned so there's three different octaves being played at once so this Oops. So, so it's really just volume knobs, and it doesn't really sound like it's doing much because right now these aren't that different. They're all sine waves. And the only difference between them is they're detuned. However, a pan, you'll be able to instantly tell what it does. Pan obviously just pans the different oscillators. Um, Chorus detune is the next thing. You detune it by semitones. Semitones is essentially half step or just one key, one uh, note to the left or the right. So now it's all the same note because I changed it to zero. you're going to want to stick to either 0, 12, or 24, or their negatives, because otherwise you're going to have this nasty Yeah, so you're going to want to stick with that, but it's really useful if you want a kind of a punch. Octaves can be really helpful with that. Um, waveforms are these little things up here because right now they're all just simple sine waves and unless you're looking for some sort of funky pad you're not really going to use a regular sine wave however there's triangle waves saw waves which is kind of loud a pulse wave which is also loud or a moog or they happen to have a power wave or exponential that's power or saw or whatever so there's there's lots of different things there's even white noise though I have no idea what use white noise is in an instrument but then again I don't use a triple oscillator that much myself but it is a very good beginners instrument so there's also this little question mark. If you double click on it, it opens up this window. You can actually import an audio file and assign it as the waveform to one of these oscillators. So, ten saw, then we'll look at that. I'm just selecting random ones. But now it sounds different. Something is off with that.
and so you can just kind of mess around and assign your you can even invent your own sine waves and assign those to this triple oscillator so it's very handy that way and so you can mess around with octaves so you can assign different waveforms like that which is very handy phase offset um, that's obviously just the phase of the thing of the waveform if you don't know what phase is it's essentially it, what position of that shape it starts at and repeats from so it doesn't really make that difference unless you're changing it while you're playing it and it's then it can sound pretty cool And so that's just what, with one of them, but you can mess around with all of them. So phase detuning is kind of like that, except for it only does it for one ear. So that way you can kind of get more of a stereo effect. Now it's a lot more stereo, obviously. <laughs> so that's pretty handy. But where Triple Oscillator really shines is these fine left and fine right detune. What they do is fine left slightly detunes, cent by cent, the oscillator in the left ear or the right ear. They have separate knobs. So. So it went a little flat there because I moved it flat. But if you just kind of mess around with these, you can actually give it some sort of depth. Except for that's a little much. <laughs> Not too much or else it'll sound terrible. So that's a really nice way to use a triple oscillator. And those are pretty much all the basic features of the triple oscillator. So, yes, that is how you use the triple oscillator. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you. <laughs>